you were talking earlier about education, universities, and how our youngsters are the future. The average age, I think you said, was 29. The median um, age, not average, the median. Uh, the, the median age is 29. So recently, many of us have been informed with Madhavanji's great work of the film Rocketry, and we've seen how Nambi Narin was persecuted in the media, in the public, by internal forces with um, the, the aid of external forces of sabotaging India's ISRO progress. We've re recently discovered since 1995 to 2014, 2,500 ISRO staff or top scientists have had untimely deaths that seem to have stopped since 2014. How, do you think now um, foreign powers are going to have any more influence on our sabotage or stalling of our projects? I know Dr. Nambi Narayan, I've met him. He was brilliant and he was working on the cryogenic engine. That's yes. the science yes. of low temperatures. So instead of liquid uh, stuff, there would be other fuels, etc., and it would fly for a much longer period and be more accurate, etc., more controllable. Of course, he was developing that. He was the team leader. And so whoever wanted India not to reach that level, uh, the Americans de de uh, denied us that technology in the 90s. They even told the Russians, don't give it to these wretched Indian fellows. Mm -hmm. He was working on developing an indigenous capacity. It put the program back by 20 years. He's been given compensation now, whatever, whatever, national recognition. All that is great. It should not have happened. It happened. It'll never happen again. That's the lesson that we have drawn. It certainly set us back, but now we have caught up because we have totally our indigenous capacity. I remember there was a time, ma'am, and I don't mind sharing this, when many of the Western countries that used to launch rockets and so on, uh, build their satellite launch vehicles, they told us, look, you guys focus on developing these satellites that tell you all about the weather, leave the launch to us. We said, happy birthday. We're not doing that. We're going to develop our own launch capability. Our first satellite was launched from French, uh, I think it was a Soviet satellite that launched it, and then from French Guyana, French, uh, a French launch vehicle, a Soviet launch vehicle launched our first two satellites. Now we launched their satellites. Yes. We have the capability to do so. And we have done this because of the brain power of our scientists, of our engineers. You know, the common India, the sense of pride. We did not have this sense of pride till the National Renaissance. One example that I love to quote, the number of Olympic medals, what we won in the first 60 years of our independence was nothing. We never got a medal except in hockey or, or whatever. And then suddenly we start winning it everywhere else because self-confidence brings that. You know, ma'am, when someone wants to dominate you, the first two things he'll attack are your self-respect and your self-confidence. He'll make you feel totally inferior. Yes. But once this self-respect and self-confidence comes, you realize, buddy, I can look you in the eye and tell you, ho, oh, ho, happy birthday. I'm not inferior to you. I am the first generation born in independent India. We need three generations for the self-confidence to come back. My kids are the second. Their kids are the third. That's my grandchildren. And they asked me, they said, Grandpa, did the British ever rule India? So, well, sweetheart, I'll tell you about it another time. And they go across the world. They, the world is their oyster. They don't go out to conquer the world. They go out to serve the world. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.